Comic Boom. Hey guys, Comic Boom here to review Batman issue 73. Yeah, there's gonna be spoilers in this review, right? And I know I said I wasn't gonna be, review more Batman, but uh, the fact of the matter is, is that Tom King has finally decided to actually get to the point of this story. And while it's uh, there's kind of holes in it, at least we're getting some plot progression here. So uh, I'm gonna stop just, uh, I'm gonna stop saying never say never, right? And just get right to it. This is spoilers for Batman. Uh, yeah, so if you don't want spoilers, don't watch the review straight up. Bottom line here is uh, last issue ended with uh, the Tom King finally progressing the plot and uh, basically Flashpoint Batman narrated issue 72 where he basically said that this whole thing was a plan by Bane to basically break the Batman. Everything that's happened since issue one has been a massive plan by Bane. Bane's this super mastermind and Flashpoint Batman was basically with them when Flashpoint Batman ended up in our universe during issue, at the end of issues 21, 22 of Batman after the, the button storyline. Flashpoint Batman was all in favor of what Bane was doing because basically as Flashpoint Batman stated in issue 72 when he was narrating that and as he confirms here that was all part of the plan to basically break his son but Flashpoint Batman wants to make clear that he really loves his son and uh, he's a Flash Flashpoint Batman is of course Thomas Wayne from the Flashpoint universe and basically he healed he's helped heal bat his son's back Bruce Wayne's back uh, that was broken by Bane last issue and he's pulling him behind he's pulling him behind a horse <laughs> He's pulling a coffin behind a horse in a desert with Bruce Wayne on the back of his horse. And they're basically traveling. It looks like they're traveling toward a Lazarus pit somewhere in the desert uh, near Kadim, outside of Kadim. Uh, with the goal of trying to resurrect uh, uh, Martha Wayne's body. It's Martha Wayne's, Martha Wayne's body is the corpse that's inside the coffin that they're pulling. And Thomas Wayne, Flashpoint Batman, basically has got some twisted idea if he wants to get the family back together. Now, um, uh, straight up, this, is, this just doesn't really resonate with me, but I, I will say this. Uh, for those of you who may not recall much about Flashpoint Batman, uh, the, the Joker in the, Flash, in the Flashpoint universe is actually Martha Wayne. So the, the trauma that Flash, what happened in the Flashpoint universe was that it was Bruce Wayne that was killed and uh, Thomas and Martha Wayne survived and their son Bruce Wayne was killed in Crime Alley. And the trauma of that event drove Martha insane and she became the Joker in the Flashpoint universe. And Thomas Wayne, of course, became Flashpoint Batman. And so it's interesting now that Flashpoint Batman now is in our universe. He wants to basically resurrect the family, dig up the corpse of Martha Wayne, uh, and basically resurrect, uh, presumably resurrect Martha Wayne in a Lazarus pit, and basically get all the big family together, and you know I guess hold hands and sing Kumbaya. Um, so, yeah, seventy-three issues for that. Isn't that? Couldn't that have been told in like a four issue story? And and why 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 go through all the pain? Why put your son through abject misery, sorrow, and absolute psychological terror and destruction? Is this is this is this really a, something that a father would do to a son? There, there's so many things wrong with this. Um, again, once again, beautiful pictures surrounding just a story that I just I just don't buy. It's, it really doesn't resonate with me. Uh, again, there's some, uh, again, great art here, uh, but much ado about nothing. Uh, again, we have uh, people acting totally out of character as if like Flashpoint Batman, you know, singing Home on the Range as he's uh, horsing through the desert, uh, pulling, a, pulling a coffin with the corpse of Martha Wayne and his son, and they, they have conversations and, and uh, he's just teasing his son. And then there's even it even gets more ridiculous. They're in the cold. They're in the hot desert, and um, for some reason, he brings Batman's cowl. He brings Bruce's cowl so he can wear the cowl. So they're both wearing cowls in the red hot desert. So they're gonna wear leather things in the in the in the in the hot desert. They're gonna both wear their cowls. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. Uh, I mean I mean look of look at what he's wearing in the hot desert. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I, I guess you know you you want the character to distinguish the characters as the reader, but there's there's just sort of a, an absurdity here. But anyways, the art is really good. 
I mean, uh, really good. I mean, this is some of the best art I've ever seen in a Batman comic. I mean, wow. I mean, I mean, Mikhail Janin, man, you did a fantastic job here. Um, but, you know, and yeah, so I, I'm not, you know, at the end, Flashpoint Batman, Thomas Wayne says to uh, his son, you made your choices, saved who you could. You're a good man, son, and I'm proud of you. And now it's time for the resurrection, for the final end of all your pain. And I guess a final end of all his pain, Flashpoint Batman, you played a large role in creating all that pain. And now you're going to resurrect his dead mother. And, and the other thing is, is, you know, this is Tom King playing sort of foolery with continuity again. The Lazarus Pit does resurrects the dead, but it, it cannot resurrect a corpse that has been dead for 20 years. And the longer a person's been dead, you've got to be submerged in a Lazarus Pit right away. Because the longer you wait, the more likely the, that, that the person that's going to be resurrected is going to become insane. So again, if, if there's in any way, shape or form, if, if Martha Wayne is going to be resurrected, the, the chances of her being actually sane is pretty unlikely. As a matter of fact, if Martha Wayne was the Joker in the Flashpoint reality, Resurrecting this Martha Wayne after being dead for 20 years in a Lazarus pit is likely she's going to be likely even more insane than the Joker Martha Wayne was in the Flashpoint paradox. So, I don't know. I don't see this ending well at all. I don't see, I mean, I, I don't even know what Tom, Tom King hasn't respected continuity from a character standpoint or plot standpoint or DC Universe standpoint at any point along this continuum from issue one. So, uh, but if he was, uh, I would hope at some point Bruce is going to explain to his dad, and I put that in quotations, because it's not really his dad as, I, as far as I'm concerned, uh, to explain to him, look, uh, resurrecting, you know, mom's been rotting in a coffin for 20 years. I mean, it, it, that ain't going to work, resurrecting her in the Lazarus pit. That isn't going to work. Plus, just a small little thing that I've noticed, how many times has the, has, Thomas and Martha Wayne's bodies have, how many times have they been kidnapped and, or dug up and removed from their graves? I mean, how many Batman storylines involve the, the, the gravestones being defiled and, and, and the, the Waynes being dug up and then reburied and dug up and reburied, huh? I mean, it's gotta be, I'm thinking at least five or six storylines. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny. I mean, again, you know, uh, it, it's just kind of funny. Uh, at this point, I would have thought that maybe Bruce Wayne, maybe Bruce, he, maybe why don't you just cremate your parents already and sprinkle their ashes through the sea so you can avoid them, their corpses being, you know, being retrieved by your next supervillain that comes along, you know? I mean, at this point, <laughs> just putting that out there, Bruce. But, yeah, overall, you know, I... Uh, I think there's a lot of holes that you can pick into this uh, in this in this in this story so far, and I, I I gotta wonder why did we again 73 issues to get to this point? If like wouldn't it, this would have been maybe even a half-assed cool storyline if this was a six-issue series that came out every two weeks? That would be great. Then you're done in one, and it might even be remembered for a classic tale. But this is never going to be remembered as a classic tale. It's going to be remembered as a decompression nightmare. And in fact, it's actually even called Nightmares at one point for five issues, right? <laughs> so, yeah. But again, Mikhail Janin's art is so beautiful. I mean, this literally is worth buying just for the art. Just for the art. Uh, and if you're just, again, it's one of those things, if you're just coming on board, if you want to know, uh, you know, Batman, Flashpoint, Batman even sings. Although, of course, it's Tom King singing. But overall, you know, they, they fight ninjas in the desert, Raza Gaul's men by the looks of things. And... Uh, yeah, some beautiful pictures, but overall, again, you know, we're moving forward. I am curious to see what's going to happen if he's actually going to try to resurrect Martha Wayne. I still got, I'm still curious to know how the Bane arc's going to resolve itself. It's so, my curiosity is peaked. I mean, look, I've been staring at this train wreck for a long time. I want to know how it's going to clean itself up. You know what I'm saying? When you see somebody make a huge mess and you think there's no way they're going to be able to clean this up, but, but yet when they start cleaning it up, it's like, hmm. I wonder if they're actually going to pull this off. I'm actually curious to see how this is going to end. So, you know, once again, never say never. I'm back on the train to check this train wreck out to see a, to see if it's going to hit another train. It's, is the wreck going to get worse? Or is there going to are we going to start getting the environmental cleanup here? I don't know, but I'm going to stick out. We're going to 
I mean, this is morbid. I can't look away. It's like a train wreck. I got to keep looking. It is what it is. Anyways, guys, tell me what you think of Batman 73. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter at Metropolis40. And until next time, Comic Boom, 